Good afternoon. I'm Nadal Mez, Management Information Systems University instructor. Actually, uh, our team members are uh, Rawad Fares, Mariam Sleiman, and Sara Asim. They are university and school students as well. So uh, our team's name is Twinny. Uh, Twinny is the name of the product itself, actually. So we inspired the idea of our product from a universal problem so that we can have, our product can have a global reach. Uh, like every single day, cases of kidnapping, uh, raping, robbery, bullying, uh, etc. Every single day we are facing those problems. So uh, 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 the person facing this problem actually needs an instantaneous communication with someone that can feel what he's, what, what, what's happening to him. So uh, sometimes he might freeze, like he cannot use his mobile phone or whatever. Uh, for the shock, he cannot know what he can do. So simply, we developed a twin bracelet in which uh, the first party will put on the bracelet, for example, a mom and her kid, or two grown-ups even. In case of any threat that faces any one of them, the change in their heart rate will affect, like will cause a, a buzzer maybe like to notify the other party that something happens, something like a threat is causing, like is facing the other party. Uh, uh, actually, to, to be more specific, we added two sensors, the heart rate sensor and the, uh, the stress sensor as well, because maybe someone is exercising and his, his heart rate raises. Uh, uh, plus, our device will have an XB to ensure communication between uh, the two bracelets. It will have a buzzer, so to notify the other party. It will have also a push button. So uh, uh, maybe, I, maybe I can, like, I do not freeze. I, I, I need you, for example. I can push the button so that the buzzer will work at your side. Uh, uh, the future of our product is, like, it can have, it can have a GPS built in so that uh, this GPS will be enabled under one condition, under, like, severe threat for privacy reasons, you know? So whenever the notifier works, the GPS will be enabled so that you can locate the location of this person and you can come for help, okay? Actually, we can add a, another push button that will, for example, if you press on it, you will be automatically, uh, uh, like, uh, you can automatically uh, deliver a message to the police, for example, and he can know your location, he can come for help, okay? So actually, that's it. Uh, uh, I want to thank uh, BDL, I want to thank uh, DNY Group, being more specific, Innovo, for mentoring us, for providing this unique experience. Okay, so thank you all. Thank you, judges. Uh, yes, it is working actually, but uh, uh, due to like the limited resources at our hand and the sensor was not like very reliable, and like the short time we had, so so we couldn't actually uh, can control like the heart rate of someone. And but actually it's working. So we can get the laptop and we can try that after some like exercising or something. Okay. Uh, how how do you evaluate stress? So what's what's from an algorithm perspective or sensors? How do you know that it's stress versus what you're saying, yeah. just elevated heart rate? Actually, the stress sensor works on the skin. So maybe so like uh, uh, whenever a person is under stress, maybe he can sweat. Sometimes you cannot feel the sweat, but the sensor can feel that. Okay. Okay. So you cal you calculated in the algorithm. You have a yes, and threshold actually for in the algorithm we have an if code. So it has like we filtered the heart rates like uh, uh, the above and the below. So maybe the heart rate is below level a certain level. So the person might lose his conscious. You can know that something is happening, something wrong is happening to him, or above a certain limit, so come in, a certain danger is facing him. Quick question, uh, follow up. How do they communicate yes. with each other, the twinnies? Uh, the twinny? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, so I said, right. like, they have an XB, so they can communicate. Okay. Okay, so through a certain hardware device. Uh, I have a question. Yes. The, the XP that you're using uh, is uh, limited in distance, so it can work inside yeah, one that. space. So how would they communicate if they're in this, let's say the kid is in school and the mother is at home? How, how do you, like, I know you cannot implement it now in th yeah. six hours, but an ideal case situation. Uh, like yes, how would uh, we studied that. It is feasible. 
uh, uh, actually Innovo will help us in that, but I made sure that it's feasible to do that for like long distances. But how, uh, do you have any idea like on the technology that you'd be using? Uh, uh, like uh, uh, this technical question in, in particular, maybe our mentor can help us in answering this. So I was like uh, asking Innovo so they can help us in that. We can cover like farther distances. It's uh, actually we want it like to be more interactive and talk like and record messages. It can also, right. but like the limited resources at our hand, like those two days made us like limit our idea. No problem. Yeah. Okay. Uh, one one idea would be to use uh, cellular network data. Uh, like, but you have to have a SIM card, of course, inside each of the yeah. bracelet, which is also a problem. Another idea would be that it would communicate with the phone, and then the phone would actually do the transmission. Yes, wirelessly. yes, we can. We studied all of that. Even we made a market research yesterday, like having a sample from the audience here in the in the conference, and we asked them and about something like uh, some cases that happened with them. Two out of six, they were begging to have uh, uh, such a device because they were like they were sometimes they were under one of these cases, and they were like wishing how can their brain. Like talk to anyone's brain, like without uh, using their mobile phones or what else. So, and the six out of six said that, like, yes, they might buy this this wearable device. Or, okay. Okay, Thank just you. one yes. quick, very quickly. Did you do any research that confirms whether this would be able to give a lot of false positive? So, if I'm if the kid is excited that they're going to play dodgeball, would this also um, ring at the mother's place? Okay, that's why, uh, that's why we added the second parameter, which is the stress sensor, to be more accurate. Like, because when you exercise or jump or, like, I don't know, maybe your heart rate will, will raise. Yeah. That's why the second parameter will, will, like, will avoid uh, a false like, notifying. Okay. Okay? Any other question? Okay, thank you. Thank you for good listening.